Hello guys, in this video let's talk about Laravel installer new features which are related to upcoming Laravel 11 and specifically we will talk about the default database which will not be MySQL anymore. But one thing at a time. It started with a tweet that I saw from Nuno Maduro, core team member of Laravel in the latest release of Laravel installer which is coming now before Laravel 11 they give more information for beginners how to start Laravel projects, which is, I think, very cool. And then I thought, what else is new in Laravel installer? And if you want to check new features, you go to GitHub repository of Laravel installer or whatever is the open source project that you want to check out. And then on the right side, you see releases. And in the releases list, you can see new features listed here. So I browsed around and found a few minor interesting thing and one major interesting thing which we'll get to that in a minute. For now small improvements so improves ending message. So this is what was before and this is additional instruction how to start or where to learn from. So it seems like more and more effort is given towards totally new people, fresh people coming outside of Laravel community to even start quicker without any potential problems. But do you see any other differences in those two screenshots? Yep, correct. Default database is MySQL in the previous screenshot. In the after screenshot, it's SQLi. At first, it kind of shocked me because MySQL is totally the more popular database among Laravel developers, so why would you need to change that? But this is actually related to the same thing. More convenient installation and faster turnaround for new people, not necessarily from Laravel community. So in the 5.4 release of Laravel installer, Taylor released SQLi. So this is the pull request and there are quite a lot of changes here you may take a look i will link that in the description below but at the very end of it there's one if statement this one default database if we do have mariadb config which means we have laravel 11 because this config is new from laravel 11 then the default is sqlite otherwise it's mysql so for now on laravel 10 if you install new project with laravel new it will still be MySQL and it's fine. But this pull request in Laravel installer is in preparation with this pull request in Laravel framework itself, in Laravel Laravel Scalet, which is committed pretty recently. And this is the whole logic. The goal is to reduce time to being productive with Laravel across all operating systems. And if you do want to use MySQL or Postgres, it's easy to change. But the main goal, as I understand it, to speed up the local start for any new Laravel project. But that pull request came as a bit of a surprise for me personally, because I saw online pretty recently Taylor made a poll what the default database should be and majority voted for MySQL. And SQLite wasn't even in a strong second position. With 13,000 votes, it should be pretty significant opinion. And also in the state of Laravel in 2023 survey, really popular among Laravel developers, MySQL is by far the leading solution and SQLite isn't even in the second or third position. But this is a good example of understanding the reasons behind any decision in open source frameworks like Laravel. Some decisions are not based on the popularity because here in the poll and on Twitter, people were answering people that are Laravel developers for some time already. And most of them on servers in production, they use MySQL and they don't even think about SQLite in production in most cases. Same for me personally, I use SQLite only for local testing, for automated tests. And lately I stopped doing even that to avoid the different environments between local and production, which may cause issues when deploying the project when some strange bugs appear when they were not present on your local machine. But this is the logic for production, for deploying of Laravel project. But locally, to get the first fresh start, SQLite is actually more convenient. Especially, again, for people coming outside of Laravel community, outside of PHP, even ecosystem maybe. So it seems like the goal with this change is to help those people to get started much faster. Outside of Laravel community, MySQL is not necessarily 
the most popular database system. And all in all, that pull request was kind of greeted well by Laravel community with 27 votes, with thumbs up. So it's again a proof that the official poll of all users of all Laravel community is not necessarily what open source maintainers and creators think because they may have different logic for what should be in the framework as defaults. I remember a huge deal in the community in Laravel 8 when they released Laravel Jetstream and then Breeze instead of Laravel UI, which earlier replaced make auth command by Laravel. So that shift was kind of huge, but looking at it now, after a few years, it was totally logical because Tailwind came popular into the scene in favor of Bootstrap and Jetstream became quite popular with Livewire and Breeze is also a good solution and Laravel UI it's by the way still active and maintained but it's used by quite small amount of Laravel developers. So all in all you could think that Laravel authentication solutions were actually ahead of time. That's why they were greeted with so much negativity, including from myself. But maintainers of Laravel, creators Taylor and the team kind of knew their vision, how they want Laravel to evolve. So all that philosophy is to say that you shouldn't be negative about such default changes, changes to default values in Laravel or in any other open source solution, because usually there's a reason for that. If you don't like SQLite, if you don't use it, switching to MySQL is trivial. But of course, we can discuss in the comments as usual. What do you think about this change? Do you use SQLite yourself locally for testing or maybe on production projects? Share your experience in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel to get all the latest news, including what's coming to Laravel 11 quite soon. And see you guys in other videos.